everyone. Welcome to yet another wonderful session. So in this class, we are going to be talking about the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. So we are going to use the zeros of the polynomial concept over here. But before we get started, I have an important update for you. It's regarding Baiju's mini learning program that is now absolutely free. But it's a limited period offer. So to avail this, you have to use the code YTFREE all in caps over here. And let me tell you what all benefits we have here. Three sessions you are getting here absolutely free of cost if you use this code. The best part is you can choose the class timings as per your convenience and for whatever subject you want to take the class for. Two teacher advantage you are getting here, one-on-one -on -one guidance from the personal mentor, live interactive classes would be there and yes, after class assignments and assessments would be shared. And I'm sure that if you're liking our sessions, you are going to love the app. The link for that is given in the description. Please do go check that out. And I hope that everybody has joined the Telegram channel. So many benefits we have there. The session updates, you will keep getting there. Quizzes, homework questions, revision questions and whatever sessions we are doing here, the live session, their session PDFs would be shared by, by, over the Telegram channel. The link for that as well is given in the description. Please do go join it. But for now, let's get started with our topic, zeros of the polynomial. So let's first understand what zero of a polynomial is. So a real number A is a zero of a polynomial. Px, polynomial is Px. If P of A is zero, that means if in the entire polynomial, if I replace that X with this A, right, and the entire value is zero, then we can say that that real number A is the zero of the polynomial. To understand this better, take a look at this example. We have this polynomial 4x square minus 1. Variable is x here, right? So if I try, we can see that the degree over here is zero. Degree means the highest power of the variable. It is quadratic. So zeros are plus minus 1 by 2. Let's substitute 1 by 2 over here. I get the value of the polynomial as 0. Minus 1 by 2 also gives me the value of the polynomial as 0. So here I can say one thing that since plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 on putting them and replacing x with 1 by 2 or 1 by minus 1 by 2, I get 0. So these are the zeros of the polynomial. Let's check the value of the polynomial at x equals to 1. How do we check the value of a polynomial at any number? So you just have to replace the variable with that number. That's going to be 4 times 1 square minus 1, which gives you 3. So 3 is going to be the value of the polynomial when x is equals to 1. So that was just, you know, a brief introduction about what zeros are, what is degree and how to find out the value of the polynomial. Now, this is something that you've already learned before in the previous grades. Let's move ahead to the next topic. When we're talking about the zero of the polynomial, by looking at the graph, how can we tell how many zeros this polynomial have? So a zero of a polynomial Px represents the x coordinate of the point where the graph of Px intersects the x axis. That means on the graph, you have to see that where the graph actually, the line actually is intersecting the x-axis. Look at the first one. This is a linear graph, right? Here the straight line is intersecting the x-axis at only one point. So this has got only one zero. Here you can see that it's a U-shaped graph. It's a parabola. It is intersecting the x-axis at two distinct points. So it has got two zeros. Here we can see that there is no standard form, right? It's a curvy graph. It is intersecting x-axis at three points. That means this has got three zeros. So just by looking at the graph also, we can tell how many zeros a polynomial has. Now moving to the next topic that is about the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. Let's quickly take a look. So when we have, we know about the quadratic polynomial, right? The general form is ax squared plus bx plus c. Since it is quadratic, its degree is 2. So it has two zeros, alpha and beta. And we know that sum of zeros, right? That means alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a. From where are we getting b and a? From this general form. And product of zeros is equals to alpha beta, that's equals to c by a. So whenever we are given any question, first we find out the zeros and then we try out this relationship. We check this relationship between the zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. And let's suppose we are given the zeros of the polynomial and we have to frame a quadratic polynomial. In that scenario, we simply use the formula k times x square minus sum of zeros times x plus product of zeros. So substitute the values over here. And then it's very simple. You will get the answer. Now, I hope that all the, whatever we, I discussed today, this is crystal clear in your mind. But in case you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section below. And there is a question that you can try out after this class. Find the quadratic polynomial whose sum of its zeros is minus 8 by 5 and product of zeros is 7 by 5. You can let us know the correct answer in the comment section below and do try this out. And just a reminder, the link for this is given in the description below. Do not forget to use the code YTFREE. Don't worry, we have got you covered. We have so many sessions lined up for you from every Monday to Friday to make you exam ready. And link for Telegram channel as well is given in the description. Please do join it. 
and please hit the like button if you feel that these sessions are actually helpful share in your school groups with your friends also and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you do not miss any new updates from us thank you so much bye bye